It should come with no particular surprise that I love Kate and it's actually my main editor for everything, like literally everything, even KDE development. And I love K Kate because it has, you know, everything, every feature that I would like in a text uh, editor. And also it is keeping on getting better and better. I had done a video a while ago showcasing all of the nice Kate features, even things that were very new, such as multi -cold cursor, which is a super nice feature, which I didn't know I needed. However, now Kate is getting closer to yet another release, the 22.12 uh, release, which is going to bring even more cool stuff. And I actually just now went through the announcement and there's so much there. So as always, link to the announcement is in the video description, if I don't forget, but you can just watch this video to get a general idea. So the first big change is not uh, something that is UI wise, like the user won't directly notice it, but it will allow the developers to add many features that you will notice. And it is the fact that up until now, Kate inside of its tabs could only display, you know, your code and in general, a text view. However, thanks to very complex, it seems, underlying changes, now you can display anything, like literally anything inside of a tab. Like if I wanted to display an image as a developer, I could add that functionality. What that means is that now these tabs can not longer be just code, but also be something else. And the developer did take, uh, did made you make use of this functionality pretty much immediately. As an example, if you want to edit the Kate configurations, up until now you had a very small window at the center of the screen and with a lot of options in it. Now, whenever you try to edit Kate's configuration, this will open up a tab just like other files that you have opened. But inside of this app, you will actually get all of the settings of Kate. So you will be able to edit them in a window that is as big as Kate's because it is Kate's window. I think it's a very nice feature and it will make it much easier to actually change Kate configuration. So a big step forward. Secondly, there is a new feature that will be you will immediately notice as soon as you open Kate. So usually when you do that, you just get an empty file and you will that will still happen for the simpler version of Kate, which is Kwrite. However, with Kate from now on, from 22.12 on, you will get a welcome page. This welcome page will have all of the recent files and also all of your saved sessions. And if, it, if you just click on a session or on a recent file, that session will be restored or that file will be restored, which is very nice. There's also directly in the welcome page an option to turn this off and make sure that Kate gets back to the whole behavior of opening a blank file if that is what floats your boat. You also get some other options such as links to the homepage of Kate and links to how to donate to the Kate project. Ah, and uh, a button to open a new file, obviously. Okay, so the past versions of Kate has added a functionality that actually I never used because I like very simple things, but that a lot of people have used and that is a support for Git. So basically you have a sidebar on the left that is able to give you all of the information about the Git repository that you're currently working on. As an example, it's going to tell you what is the branch you're in, the commits, you can commit uh, directly from the interface if I'm not mistaken. Now another very big change has arrived and that is when you actually do like a commit and you are able to see the diff from one commit to another, that diff will be displayed directly inside of Kate, again, as if it was a normal file, but it will be displays, displayed as a diff, which means that you will have in you know green all the new parts and in red all the parts that got removed, these kind of things. So just like if it was a Git diff that you see on GitHub or GitLab as an example, but directly inside of Kate, which is super cool. You have this split uh, view with old code, new code, these kind of things. You can switch between if you want just one file with the red and um, green parts or side by side, new and old. It's customizable, which is, you know, nice in the kiddies land. If you only want to commit certain changes, you can actually unstage individual hunks of uh, changes and lines directly from the UI, which is also very nice. 
I also forget one, forgot one thing when talking about this new page where you can see all of the kids configuration and that is pretty important. It has a giant search bar on the top. So if you're not sure where that option that you're looking for is, now you can just search for its name in the search bar and that will work. And I think this is a very good moment to pause and remind you that not only you have that, but you also have search throughout all of kit actions. That is, that is all of the buttons in the toolbar and in the menu. The shortcut is Ctrl Alt I and if you press that you will have this search uh, bar floating in the middle of Kate that will be able to search uh, throughout all Kate actions. Super cool, use it. Okay, yet another super cool feature that has <laughs> is added in the 22.12 version is a new clipboard um, has three paste dialog. So if you press Control Shift Alt V, Control Shift Alt V, remember it, and pop up will pop up, and you will be able to see all of your clipboard uh, clipboard history. And for each element, there will be a preview syntax highlighted, and you will be directly able to edit that uh, clipboard element before pasting it which is very cool. So you copy a, a large chunk of code, you go somewhere else, you go into the clipboard manager, you see that what you copy, uh, copied is indeed what you need. And if there's anything to change, you can do it before even passing, which is cool. Like how cool is that? And I mean, and I don't know what else to say, but it, like, it, it's cool. It's it, just that cool. <laughs> Oh, small correction, the welcome window is in KWrite too, not just Kate, KWrite, sorry. There is also like smaller things going on in this update, very quick, quickly reading them. There are various improvements to the build plugin, more actions that are commonly used now have default shortcuts assigned. The sidebar button can now be moved into its own section by right clicking on them. And this allows opening multiple tool views in one sidebar simultaneously. Documents can now be detached into a new window from the tab context menu and the status bar uses less spaces and is now configurable. If you want more details than that, again, video description, blog post that has been published on the 31st of October and it is for that reason called Treats for Kate. Um, it was published by Eric Armbruster. I try to pronounce these names, I, I promise. So thanks everybody for following and see you tomorrow with yet another video. Bye.